To crime now. Earlier this week, we saw the city of Greensboro report its 60th homicide of the year and Winston-Salem its 40th. In both cities, this is already more than they had a year ago, and it's only October. Tonight, we're focusing on the impact of all this sorrow. Family and friends getting together this evening to honor a Greensboro man who was shot and killed late last month. Police found 39-year-old Rasu Cheek woods off of South Elm Eugene Street not long ago. Kara Peters spoke with loved ones on how they're keeping his memory alive. She joins us live in studio tonight with that report. Kara. Yeah, Kenny, that's right. Loved ones wore red and white for the balloon release and vigil, which were Cheek's favorite colors. Rasu Cheek was known to be caring and always willing to give what he had to anyone in need. Not only was he a friend, son and brother, but also a father to a 16 year old girl. According to Greensboro Police, family reported Cheek missing before his body was found near a tent where he was living. Cheek's mother and sister say they will continue to keep their spirits high moving forward because that's what Rasu would have wanted. We just continue loving, caring, forgiving. Just keep going. That's what he would want. Just keep moving, keep going, keep striving to be the best, be what you want to be, to be you, to find you, to love you. That's him. He said, go on with life. He said, peace. He said, peace. And police have yet to release any additional information on suspects. We're live tonight in studio. I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News.